Hello! Welcome to Horror of Spice, where everything's nice. I'm Horror of Spice. And I'm Mrs. Horror of Spice. It's graphic novel ideas, and we bring you The, the Drowned. Drowned. And we decided to pair that with Hit Peas, Sriracha Sunshine. And I'm actually going to try them. Wouldn't you guys love to see that? I'm released for real light spice. Right now. So, basically, there is no uh, synopsis of The Drowned, except this is the longest explanation about it. The Drowned isn't just a good first effort. It's a great first effort that rivals a lot of other season-created works. The Drowned is ambitious and far-reaching, but unlike a lot of freshmen of efforts, it succeeds at its aims. It had me intrigued with the matter of pages. Good, good stuff. The visual images that D. Bartoli creates are outstanding. Trust me, you'll absolutely not want to let this book slip you away. So, I definitely wanted to take a look at this and read it through the artwork is in black and white yeah so that is really pretty cool in itself so those of you who really like the black and whites and like kind of you know something with an older feel to it this is the comic for you the drown now it's not as exciting as some of our other graphic novels so it's it's kind of for it's kind of that lazy day graphic novel if you want to if you want to read it i don't want to get too much into it because i would be giving too much away of the storyline um i will say that this is a supernatural thriller and uh, those who appreciate their demons and devils being of time period, you will like that about this. Um, also, anybody who's in the Hammer films will love this. Oh, that's true. Definitely. Ah, oh, little cheese poops. Not much of a smell. No, that's not smell. All right, I'll try it. Okay, there. Just tastes like a cheese poof to me. There seems to be a little bit of something there. Yeah, that's the chickpea. Mm-mm, spice. Oh, you're talking about the sriracha? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't really tell. Um, a little inside for you. Um, we try to film all these at once. One right after the other after the other. So I'm currently burning off of uh, the hot sauce we uh, tried for... Um, Wild Out Wednesday, I, I can't really, uh, I can taste the, the chickpea, uh, ma uh, how it's made into the puff, and that's quite delicious. Um, mm -hmm. the, the cheddar powder is uh, nice and prevalent, but not overwhelming. Um, you get uh, less grease than a normal uh, cheese poof. Um, really didn't get it, the spice on it, though. It builds. The spice builds as you eat it. For somebody who hasn't had spice in a while, you know, this is kind of a nice break. It's real low. It's, it's lower than jalapeno. It's real light. For those of them 
those of you who are spicy heads and have that one friend who can't eat real spicy foods or is not really that into spice, this would be a great introduction into spice. Because it's real light. Also, um, you got to take into the, the health, uh, there's four servings per bag, and each serving is 130 calories. So those on a diet, this is literally like a diet's best friend. Oh, yeah. Plus, you get four grams of protein and three grams of fiber. So, you know, you're going to be regular, and uh, you get a little boost of protein while you're at it. Um, just like this comic book, this is a classic snack. Uh, as far as your uh, spice heads go, it is a great introduction to your uh, friends who want to get into spice but really don't know uh, how to test their might. Um, just recommend this and if it's too, uh, too light then bump it up to the next thing. Yeah. Well. From Horror of Spice. And Mrs. Horror of Spice. Y'all stay creepy now. Bye. Bye.